Today is episode of Star Tech 47. We're covering the topic of mind control. Say it with me. Mind control. It's a well-known fact that aliens from outer space can read your mind. Lots of times people take extraordinary precautionary measures to prevent this from happening. Mind control. Mind control. What an asshole. Even several secret government projects such as MKUltra and Project Monarch explored the process of human mind control. And maybe kitty cat mind control. How do we know cats can't get mind controlled? How do we know they already aren't? So you see, there's quite an in-depth history into mind control. Nobody knows how far back it goes with aliens, of course. That could be days. One of the main things that's of concern to people is that aliens communicate telepathically. What that means is aliens can hear your thoughts in their heads and they can communicate their thoughts into your head even though only one of you is telepathic. Now that might sound pretty fantastic, but I can promise you it's not. When it comes to mind control, nobody wants their mind read. End of story. Some people, such as uh, maybe your wife or your mom, is pretty sure you're psychic, but that's not always the case. So alien communication through mind control is potentially designed to control either one individual at a time into secret kind of covert uh, behaviors, things that uh, give information and intelligence to the outside aliens. Or maybe they can control masses of people in large areas, either functioning as a kind of a hive mentality uh, like little ants, have them all doing their own thing specifically for one greater cause. Or they can control large groups of people all at the same time, kind of doing the same thing uh, for whatever purpose they have in mind. Now the human side of mind control goes back thousands of years. People have been doing it in one form or another since the ancient Egyptians. Some of the Nazi programs of the 1930s and 40s, such as Project Monarch, developed from that type of monarch uh, level mind control originated with doctors such as Mingala, but what people like Dr. Mingala could do would be to torture victims almost into complete and total uh, loss of their sanity. And then they could program them, reprogram them, and build them back together with built-in triggers, uh, simply by uh, watching a movie or something on television, or uh, hearing a word or a song, a certain phrase, maybe number stations, could activate that trigger in the mind control subject and then they would go ahead and perform whatever tasks they've been programmed for. Go uh, get a camera view outside of, in the garage because I'm too freaked out to. So there's nothing out here. <coughs> you don't know that. Hell. Boom! <laughs> 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 That's crazy. <laughs> you clearly made me wet myself. <laughs> so in a sense it is uh, kind of having a secret operative, kind of like a sleeper cell but maybe they don't even know that's what they're being used for. It's pretty fantastic and far out stuff. During the 60s and 70s, Project uh, MK Ultra was a big thing. What did they do? Well, let me tell you what they did. It was something that was being developed by organizations such as the CIA and possibly even uh, with their Russian counterparts. These kinds of programmings were done with uh, using drugs primarily. Uh, lots of LSD, lots of other uh, psychotropic drugs that would really... Uh... I'm not really, like, scared about the aliens that much. The aliens is the thing that I'm actually excited about. Mostly pees on you. Ah! <laughs> ah! You keep scaring me! It's not funny! Oh, God! You look dapper. Dapper. That's the weirdest word. They could put these people on drugs for hundreds of days at a time until their programming became basically as simple as it could get. Whatever they would put these people on, they would basically turn their mind into mush and then rebuild it, reprogram it completely from the ground up. 
And uh, once again, they could use the forms of triggering that they would use with uh, the torture methods from Project Monarch. So there are many different approaches to mind control. Do the aliens employ some of those same techniques through torture? Is maybe uh, that what's explained in so many of the uh, alien abduction cases where people are seem to go through some kind of torture? Are they sent back here under some kind of mind control, waiting until their masters send them the command? It's possible. Do aliens prefer to use a more MKUltra approach and uh, use some kind of drugs unknown to humankind, undetectable to the human physiology and biology? Do they use these drugs to control their subjects? Is that why the repeated abductions occur? Maybe that's the case. Most, most cases people wouldn't even know that was what was going on with them. Uh, so many of the alien abduction cases, people are confused, they're left wondering what happened to them, what was the point of all this, why does it keep happening? You know, you look down the road, maybe there's a bigger picture. Maybe there's a bigger point to all that. Maybe it's just one step in a very long process. One thing's for sure. We're never going to know completely until we pull the manhole cover off of that sewer system. This is Craig Bowers with StarTech 47. You want to believe. This is a warning to our alien overlords. Stay out of my brain.